pulse length is nothing but it's the time taken for a pulse to leave the scanner so here i will show you one example from a bird's eye view i am watching i am watching the horizontal beam width and this is the horizontal beam width which has the 50% intensity as i already told the green lines now i am transmitting a pulse this yellow color is a pulse you can see it it is traveling now this pulse here in this diagram you can see that i am going to highlight what is pulse length now this is the pulse length now to understand pulse length further i am going to name the edges i am going to highlight the edges of the pulse as you can see here now the red edge and the blue edge so i am going to give them their names the red edge is called as a leading edge and the blue edge is called as a trailing edge because this is leading that's why it has been given name as leading edge and the aft one is called as a trailing edge to understand further i will now introduce one target and we will see how the pulse length hits the target and how the echo gets received by the receiver now as you see here as my leading edge hits the target the echo start getting generated and this echo will keep on getting generated till my trailing edge hits the target and leaves the target as you can see here my trailing edge is leaving the target now and you can see this red color is the echo which is now traveling to the receiver and my pulse is going ahead and it will be received by the receiver this is how the pulse length travels and this is how a, a this is how a pulse travels and this is how a echo gets received similarly to understand pulse length now we know that pulse length a uh, pulse is of two types what is short pulse one is long pulse so this is a long pulse and to show you short pulse this is something like a short pulse this is how it looks like so to understand further now i will introduce a long pulse with two targets here you can see so i'm going to hit my long pulse on a two targets which are nearby each other and when this hits let's see what happens with the echo now this leading edge is hitting the target and as you see the echo has been started generating and as we proceed further the echo is been generated for the first target and as the leading edge has hit the second target also the echo has started generating now the echo for the second target will be kept on generating till the trailing edge leaves the second target as you can see here so what has happened here as is that the echo has been combined because of the long pulse the echo has been combined as you can see here and when this echo is received by the receiver what will be painted is a single target when you see a radar screen you can see here that it's only one target which is getting shown or which is getting painted which is a bigger in uh, size this is the reason how it happens and this is the reason why it happens similarly for short pulse there will be a gap between the echoes and because of that it is getting detected like this so to understand further pulse are of two types which is short pulse and long pulse it, there is also one more pulse which is called as a medium pulse it is a average of both this pulse now to understand about the short pulse and long pulse and their usage let us introduce and let us compare some of the pulses now here you can see this is a x band radar short pulse and this is a x band radar long pulse so i am going to compare the traveling of a short pulse and a long pulse of x band so let us make the short pulse travel and this blue dots are nothing but the atmosphere they are the water molecules and they are the oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere here you i am going to start my short pulse as you can see it will travel i will show you once again here you see that the pulses the red color is getting lighter and lighter and lighter which means that there is attenuation attenuation is because 
of absorption and scattering the energy of the short pulse is getting consumed because it is hitting so many water molecules and oxygen molecules etc and that is the reason it is getting attenuated and if i show you about the traveling of a long pulse once again here there is no attenuation so what do we take from this that the short pulse doesn't travel much longer but the long pulse can travel at a long range of distance secondly i will now compare between x band and s band short pulse and short pulse now whenever i say that there is a 3 cm wavelength of a x band we all know that wavelength is a distance between the two successive crest so this distance is 3 cm for x band and whenever the distance is 10 cm that is called as a s band so now i am going to compare the x band and s band so let's start so this is the traveling of a short pulse of a x band here you see that the short pulse is getting attenuated when i use a x band but when i use a s band as you can see there is no attenuation so the reason behind s band having no attenuation is that the whenever the s band short pulse is traveling it is hitting more water molecules in the atmosphere not only water molecules but oxygen molecules and whatever atmosphere atmospheric condition so whenever it is heating it is getting attenuated because it is heating more obstructions but if you see s band it is hitting less number of obstructions and that is the reason the energy is being there to travel at a long range so what do we take from this we learn that s band short pulse doesn't travel longer but s band short pulse can travel at a longer distance this is what we take from this animations let's proceed further so pulse length as i already told you about the short and the long pulse now we will understand the usage when to use what to use so here short pulse is normally used for short ranges that is up to 3 nautical miles similarly long pulse is used for long ranges which are approximately more than 12 nautical miles so there is no hard and fast rule about this 3 nautical mile and 12 nautical mile but this is the general usage of this is how we use generally the short pulse and the long pulse and most of the radars if you change the range scale the pulses automatically get changed but in some radars if you change to short range the pulse will not change so it all depends from manufacturer to manufacturer but this is the basic idea for using a short ranges you have to put short pulse for using long ranges you have to put long pulse now now the question arises can we use short pulse for long ranges and long pulse for short ranges so the answer is yes you can use short pulse for long ranges let's see the condition we can use short pulse with long range when we have dense traffic area now pay attention on the word dense traffic area here i mean about the big vessels now whenever i use big vessels whenever there is a traff now whenever there is a dense traffic area we are supposed to know the traffic we are supposed to know the targets which are coming from longer ranges and that is why i have put long range but i don't want those large targets i don't want the targets which are far away i don't want them to combine and become a one target so that is why i am using a short pulse because short pulse will help me identify two targets differently on my radar so that is why you can use dense traffic areas that is why you can use this combination in dense traffic areas similarly 
you can use long poles with short ranges during high fishing traffic pay attention on the words high fishing traffic fishing traffic fishing boats are normally small so we have to detect the these small targets which are nearby to our vessel that is why it is short range and long poles will help us to paint the small targets more better so that is why we will use long poles and short range for high fishing traffic now the question arises what should we use when we are approaching a port so when we are approaching a port we should use long poles always long poles because whenever we are approaching a port there are a lot of things boys lights light vessels etc so long poles will help us detect those small targets more easily as compared to a short pole so we should always use a long pulse so i hope you guys have got something from this video so guys keep on learning and keep watching the videos if you like this video please like subscribe and comment any doubts whatever you have so guys thanks for watching